and welcome back. It's now time for what is probably my absolute favorite, wouldn't miss it for the world feature here on Ozarks Live. It's turtin' back time. Who are you and what have you done with Joy Robertson? If I could turn back time. I'm thinking space alien over here. <laughs> yeah, okay, off we go. April 18, 1938, Action Comics number one, featuring Superman hits the newsstands. It is now the most expensive comic book of all time, with a copy selling for $3.2 million. Now, originally Action Comics was an anthology magazine, with Superman only one of the stories. Eventually, it became dedicated to Superman alone. Happy birthday to F.W. Ruckheim. Born April 18th, 1846, German-born American candy maker, here, he and his brother Lewis created Cracker Jack Candy in 1893. He started as a, adding the prizes, you know, in 1921. That's the best part. The prize. Yeah, yeah, the prize. April 19th, 1775, the American Revolution begins with the battles of Lexington and Concord, known as the shot heard round the world. Happy birthday to Tim Curry, born April 19, 1946, English Oscar-winning actor. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. In 75, he was Dr. Frank N. Furter. Legend in 1985. And in 1990, he got an Oscar win for The Hunt for Red October. April 20th, 1959, 13-year-old Dolly Parton releases her first single, Puppy Love. She wrote it when she was 11 years old. Happy birthday to Robert Galambos, born April 20th, 1914, American neuroscientist who coined the term echolocation. He and Donald Griffin proved that bats use echolocation for night flight, so they don't run into stuff or they're looking for bugs. April 21st, 1962, built for the 1962 World's Fair, the Eye of, of the Needle, now the Sky City, first opens in Seattle, Washington. It is now the oldest operating revolving restaurant in the world. Oh, on top of the Space, the space needle. needle, yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday to Anthony Quinn. Let me see if I get this right. Antonio Rudolfo Waxaca Quinn. Born April 21st, 1915, Irish-Mexican Oscar-winning actor. Probably best known for the movie Zorba the Greek in 1964, but he won Best Supporting Actor for the 1956 film Lust for Life, even though he was only in the film for eight minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, he was really good. Really impactful in that. April 22nd, 1970, celebrating the Earth and Environment Earth Day is founded by Senator Gaylord Nelson as an environmental teach-in. Nelson was later awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom Award in recognition of his work. Happy birthday to, D, uh, to J. Robert Oppenheimer, born April 22nd, 1904, American physicist, father of the atomic bomb. He predicted the existence of rapidly rotating neutron stars in 1938, black holes in 1939, and it directed the lab uh, that perfected the atom bomb from 1943 to 1945. And finally, joy this. All right. Where do pirates, you know, where do pirates buy their hooks from? Tell me. Do tell me. Secondhand store. Pretty simple. Always is. <laughs> yeah. That's another an thrilling joke, adventure of turtin' back time. Ha! <laughs> if I could turn back time. Oh, there goes that happy theme song. <laughs> now it's time to check out. Did you, Heather Lewis, did you figure that one out? I mean, sometimes you're a little quicker on the trigger with the dad jokes than I me. I didn't that time, but I will say, as much as we poke fun of it, I always get a good dad joke, and I learn a little something from Turton Back Time. Dolly Parton was 11 years old when she wrote that song. Yeah. 11. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. That is amazing. She's isn't written it? a few since then. Just a couple. Yeah. Just a couple. Just a couple that turned out to be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs>